exciting moment here tonight as finally we will settle some scores. The WWE Universe is extremely excited as we get set for WWE action. Tonight we find out if you reach the pinnacle, the top of the mountain, or if you perish trying to capture your dream. Oh, guys, get ready. Let's rock out. Come on, Corey. Get your air guitar. Saxton, get off the table. That's the punter's job. Rick <laughs> The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship. Making his way to the ring from Madison, Wisconsin. Weighing in at 267 pounds, Rick Boos. Well, first out of the scene at WWE, rocking Shinsuke Nakamura to the ring. Now, Rick Boogs ready to show the world what he can do on his own. Saxon, is there any truth to the rumor that you're the guy who wears the shirt of the band you went to see live? That's just a rumor, Corey. Nothing more. Just a rumor. We know Boogs can entertain the WWE Universe, and he's showing guys that he can get it done in the ring. Michael, we've seen Rick Boogs have victories over the likes of Dolph Ziggler, Robert Roode, and Sami Zayn. Well, personality flaws aside, Boogs has outrageous power and great potential. Prepare for the arrival of the most vicious, most vile, most violent competitor and his in WWE. From Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe. Heaven help the man who intends on prying the NXT Championship from the constrictor-like grip of Samoa Joe. The past doesn't matter. Here's where it counts. Here is where it's settled. The prize is on the line. One of the WWE's most physically gifted superstars, Rick Boog's power is infinitely impressive. Not only is Boog shredded, he knows how to shred. That makes him a sextuple threat. What are the other parts, Byron? No, no, you know what? I just don't need to know. The only thing we need to remember is how much strength Boogs is packing into his arsenal. But Samoa Joe is much more than your average opponent. He's one of the most dangerous men you can face here in WWE. No question about it. Joe's a threat against anyone in this industry. Doesn't matter what plan you have or how talented you are. Here's the pin title on the line. Even a near fall there. Planet face first. Oh, oh man. Momentum is slipping away from Boogs. Boogs is running to a rock. Perched up top. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Joe finds his target with that one. As usual, the damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Boog's strength is obviously one of his biggest assets. Is that enough to carry him through this match, Corey? 
Absolutely not, Cole. Strength alone isn't enough. But luckily for Boogs, he's got Division I wrestling skills to back it up. He's not just a rocking party boy, Cole. He's a pure athlete. Elbow drop. Piercing. Joe saw that coming. Rick Boogs out of Paul's way. Oh, God, that hurt. Oh, look at this power. This is unholy. Look at that for oh, reps. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, here's a pin for the title. One, two. And he powers out. Just barely, but it counts. He's able to sidestep there. Great job outthinking Joe. Done. Joe found himself in a dangerous city. Rick Boogs goes down low, and we're about to see the Boogs Cruise! Samoa Joe in a real bad way. Two, three, new champ, a new era begins. Here is your winner, and the new NXT champion. You can just feel it. Their championship dream has become reality. Talk about history in the making. This is literally one for the history books. And we got to witness it up close and personal. Stop making this about you, Saxton. This is about the new champ. Shango's unpredictable. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from parts unknown, weighing in at 330 pounds, Papa Shango. Saxton, do you remember when Papa Shango made the Ultimate Warrior physically ill? Of course I do. I've been having nightmares ever since. Don't worry, you're safe in your race car bed. He still sleeps with the nightlight on. Yeah, the skull looks like you, Byron. What? Same hairline. And what a big fight we're about to witness. When Balor dons the war paint, it's like his abilities are taken to the next level.
Finn Balor only brings out the demon when it's time for a big fight. That is a sight to behold. Intimidating. Exciting. Extraordinary. Grand Metalik is here. And representing Lucha House Party from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, weighing in at 175 pounds. Grand Metalik! Byron, you know what? Grand Metalik has worn a mask since the day he was born. Oh, why is that? The cool. doctor had to put it on to stop his mother from crying because he was so ugly. Stop. The rocket ship is just launched. Here comes the ultimate and warrior. from Parks Unknown, weighing in at 275 pounds, the ultimate warrior. It is nearly impossible to stop the ultimate warrior, let alone actually defeat the ultimate warrior. Just get out of the way before you get run over. The Ultimate Warrior is on another level. Always has been, always will be. The WWE Tag Team Division is more competitive than ever. As these two teams get into it, I can almost guarantee this match will be one to remember. The standards for tag team action just keep getting higher and higher around here. Oh, look at this aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. Don't do this. And off the tag is Finn Balor. Adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. From the top. Oh, a piercing elbow. A shoulder block drives him to the floor. in them, not going to let it end like this. Springboard moonsault! Wow! He's lost some of his win now. And Balor's being picked apart now. Finn Balor's under the gun. Here he goes for the win! And he makes the save for his team. Bad predicament right here. Oh, and the Warrior reverses. And he sends him to the corner. Gets him with the counter. 
What grace! Float over and hit. Oh, 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 nice! DDT! Oh, man, check out this power! Driver on its way. Oh, man. Spiked them. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Tags him in. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Kind of weak. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. From behind. Oh, oh wow. Frankensteiner. Nice. Fresh man in. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Boom. Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. There's some power behind that punch. And he had Metalik's number there. Back and forth from these competitors. There's a tag. Competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Shango gets him back. Oh, that might have just broken something. And off the tag is Finn Balor. Starting 
to struggle here. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Got the tag. Got the tag. Kick to the abdomen. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a rag doll here. Exhibiting and the cover for the win. One, two. He stopped the count for his partner. Set crashing to the floor. Wasting absolutely no respect on it. Kick to the gut. Not done yet. All the way up and shoulder breaker. Oh, wow, that hurt. Papa Shango about to end this fight. He may get the three count right here. This is it. The cover. One, two, three. The rope is over. Oh, grief, this is chaotic. Come on, rep. Belly to back suplex high on the back of the neck. Oh, look at the squeeze. It's on like a vice grip. Oh, that just looks nasty. Boom, what impact. He gets tagged in. Drives a foot into the stomach. Goes. Locked in. The official ask, and the ropes forced to break. He did not want to be caught up in that submission any longer. Just like that, Metal finds a counter. Uncorks a thunderous chop. Getting set up for something in the corner. Up on the turnbuckle now. Countered it just in time. Attack to the midsection. The WWE Universe is on its feet. And deservedly so, these superstars are holding nothing back. And off the tag is Finn Balor. Right to the spine. Finn Balor to the top rope. Here it comes. save 
for his team. And it's Warrior that goes for a ride. Metalik able to avoid impact. And point of the elbow right to the chest. Left by the turnbuckles. Double axe handle smash. Hits him with the counter. We're at a vital stage in this matchup, and this audience is fully aware of it. Yeah, they know another turning point can come at any second, and that can be the instant that ends it all. Another reversal. Eye for eye here. That's gonna hurt. He thinks he has it! Oh, what a save! That's gonna be three. Short punch! Ooh, right to the yard. What grace! to look in his eye here, folks. This is where oh, it's a hold. Did Finn clinch this? Two count. Oh. Metalik able to avoid impact. Roundhouse kick on the mark. Oops. 
And off the tag is Finn Balor. Climbing to the top rope. From the top rope. Balor could take this one. puts the finishing touches on this one for the win. They say when you know, you know. And I know there's no tag team on the roster that can touch these two guys. a very dangerous group. Three men who have brought their own style of Lucha Libre to NXT and look to redefine what Lucha Libre tradition is all about. The following contest is a six-man tag team match on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 565 pounds. Joaquin Wilde, Raul Mendoza, and Santos Escobar Legado del Fantasma! This trio, already renowned as three of the best high flyers in all of NXT, a true dangerous group. Three men who will win at any and all cost. Such discipline, a bright future for this team and all of its members, without a doubt. Ah, uh, whose house is it? It's Swerve's house! What does that make you, Saxon? Like the annoying neighbor who calls the cops when the music's too loud? That's not a very nice and thing to say, And their opponents, say, first, from Tacoma, Washington, weighing in at 201 pounds, the NXT North American Champion, Isaiah Swerve Scott! The unmistakable swag of Isaiah Swerve Scott on display. Uh, Byron, he has the talent to back it up. Saxon, why don't you learn from Swerve Scott? This guy is cool, man. Everything about him is cool. You should take notes. I thought I already had a cool factor. The swagger of Isaiah Swerve Scott has earned him love from the WWE Universe, but some say it borders on arrogance. Yeah, but when you're as good as Swerve is, you have to show it off. About to see great high-flying and striking hybrid offense. Here comes a man with a plan himself, the Brian Kendrick. Unpredictable and as dangerous as the day is long. And from Venice, California, weighing in at 174 pounds, the Brian Kendrick. Kendrick, a multi-time tag team champion, a former cruiserweight champion as well, ultra-talented veteran of the ring. When you're as ready and prepared and plan as well as Kendrick, titles just sort of happen. Don't you guys just love it when a great plan comes together? From Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 190 pounds, Aria Tavari! Tavari brings a no-nonsense style and approach to the cruiserweight division.
Hey, Arya Daivari, uh, well, you could say he's had a rather abrasive relationship with the WWE Universe, but I don't think he cares. Teams in their respective corners. We're going to get a chance to see Joaquin Wilde, Raul Mendoza, and Santos Escobar. And across the ring, we see Isaiah Scott, Brian Kendrick, and Arya Davari. These teams have scouted each other very well. They've probably identified the weak link in their opposition. Likely going to want to isolate and punish that single individual. Punishing the leg. Doomstone and route. Wow. He goes to the quick pin attempt. And kicks out before the count. Very soon to be going for a pinfall. Oh, well scouted by Wild. Wow, springboard attack. He can end it here. might be starting to set in. What tower roundhouse. Up and down. Falcon arrow. Incredible. Quickly the cover. Stops the ref count before two. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Absolutely, Cole. In a six-man tag match, the pace can get absolutely frantic. Not only does the ref have to keep track of the legal man, but the opponents do too. It's very easy to lose track, and once you do, you can lose the match. the top rope. Here's a snapmare. And a basement drop kick. Stopping down. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Got to hurt. Momentum's with Kendrick now. Yeah, Mendoza is having trouble fighting back. Mendoza getting the separation he needed. This could be a good chance for Mendoza to get some distance and rethink things. And into the count. There's two. And he kicks out at two. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Kendrick gets out of the way. Across 
out the way. Holding the shoulder hostage now. And Swerve expected that. Running knee lift. Tag made. Fresh man in. Counter from Davari. Here it comes. Nicely done. And he is saved by the ropes. Tossed into the corner. No defense. Oh, what a chat. Torturous focus on the leg in the corner. Kick to the gut. Oh, oh. Now, what's this going to be? Welcome to Mustache Mountain. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 391 pounds. Tyler Bates and Trick Seven Mustache Mountain. Despite facial hair, they're very tough competitors. You know, they utilize British strong style wrestling, mixing Japanese strikes and British grappling. Mustache Mountain is a joy to watch. Very unique offense, extremely difficult to prepare for. I wish I could grow a mustache. I think you should focus on the top of your skull first, Saxton. You know, some people would say, no, I won't, but some people would say that they may be the best tag team out of the UK since the British Bulldogs. These guys hail from Mustache Mountain. Does that make you from Peach Fuzz Peak, Saxton? That's not funny. And introducing the champions, accompanied by Alexander Wolf, at a combined weight of 440 pounds. They are the NXT Tag Team Champions, Fabian Eichner and Marcel Bartel. Imperium! Here we go, gentlemen. Huge title match coming up. And a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now.
And if you ask me, he's probably a little more motivated than usual, given who his opposition is here tonight. And while I understand there's bad blood here, he has to be careful not to become so enraged that he loses his cool. on the line of the Tag Team Championships. Teams in their respective corners going over final strategies. A showdown for the NXT Tag Team Championships here in this team competition. On one side we see Tyler Bate and Trent Seven. Then the opposing team is, of course, filled with Fabian Eichner and Marcel Martel. The champs are not going down without a fight, but the challengers really seem ready for the challenge tonight. I think it's going to be a dugout brawl on another level because neither of these teams want to go home without the title. Ooh. Well measured. The stop in every single part of his body. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Got their opponent off. Snake eyes! The champ getting put to the test here. Oh, he fights bait back. position to be in right now. Down on the wind Oh, kick right in the back. Take a good look at a real life Titan, folks. He's in off the tag. Oh, Bate was ready for that. Challenger is not in a great place. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. He made the tag. Cooking with gas now. A good measure. Martel escapes the attack. What a headbutt. Vicious. Oh, right to the kidneys. Oh, oh that hurt to the spine. Kicking the spot. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. Oh, hard impact. 
Impact in the corner. Boom! Oh, shot right to the midsection. That gets reversed on seven. Able to interrupt the attack. Suplex. Tag. Probably not going to win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know what? Twisting the body. He cares to save. How close was that? Head attack for the championship. Gutsy performance. He's been placed in the corner now. No, 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 break his arm. Vicious. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Oh, He's got him in the crosshairs. From the top. If this works, it could change the course of the match. To the skies. Looking for the victory. Two. Three. And we have new tag team champions. What a moment. Here are your winners. And the new NXT Tag Team Champions, Tyler Bates and Trick. Mustache Mountain. What a shift into the tides with this championship match. Honestly, Michael, there is no way I can think to describe this other than absolute goosebumps. Then imagine how the new champ must feel, Byron. No, the Austrian anomaly. And many would say the toughest competitor in all of Europe. Beyond Europe, Saxton, Walter's on his way to dominating the entire globe. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship. Introducing the challenger, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Walter! Can you believe this guy's been UK champion for over 800 days? That marks the longest title reign since Hulk Hogan's first WWE championship. Well, let's not get carried away now. It's not like he's battling the likes of Randy Savage, Andre the Giant. Hey, facts are facts, Michael. And right now, Walter seems unstoppable. But I agree with your point, Byron. He has been an incredible champion. Unbelievable. Over 800 days. One of the signature superstars in NXT history. The self-proclaimed greatest sports entertainer in history. And introducing the champion from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 
weighing in at 201 pounds. He is the NXT Champion, Tommaso Ciampa! Tommaso Ciampa calls himself the Blackheart because he makes no distinction between friend and foe inside the ring. And Byron, that never bodes well for Ciampa's opponents. A man driven by desire and passion, which is interpreted by some as unbridled ruthlessness. Now you look at Ciampa, you look at a guy who has threatened careers, ruined psyches, and that's for the people he actually likes. That's the genius of being able to take the humanity out of the equation. Some love him, some loathe him, but everyone respects him. Well, lucky for him, Ciampa's not here to make friends. He's here to put food on the table for his family. And Ciampa will not stop until he gets exactly what he wants. Defended all across the globe on sold-out takeovers. This NXT title has a lot of prestige. And the WWE title matches get the headlines, but for my money, the NXT Champion is perhaps the toughest title holder in WWE. That's yeah, true. NXT attracts the best talent in the world. They're all fighting to breathe the same rarefied air. You have to push yourself to places you didn't know existed to win this championship, and even further, to keep it. Driven down on a powerbomb. Oh, drop. Champa skillfully counters. Responds with a counter of their own. Oh, caught a power ball. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Isolating the arm. He catches Walter with a counter. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. See, he is feeling it now. Was mounted with punches and not a oh, foot just stomping down. How do you approach a match with Tommaso Ciampa, a competitor who has been known to take liberties inside the ring? For starters, you need to try and keep the ref in sight of the action so Ciampa can't sneak in a cheap shot. But more importantly, keep your head on a swivel. Maintaining strong the ring awareness will make it hard for Champa to catch you off guard with dirty offense and also help you spot good openings to attack. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Back to the ribs. Turning the tables there. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? Well, I think we're going to see it. He's able to counter. Going for a pin for the championship. One, two, just gets the shoulder up. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. All the way up. Superstar planning now on the top rope, bringing their opponent with them. Perched up high, this is hazardous. Avalanche power bomb. The title might change hands. Cover. One, two, three. Title change. We have a title change. Here is your winner and the new NXT champion. 
a victory worthy of a new champion. To go from challenger to champion, that has to feel good. Unless you're the one going from champion to nothing. A massive presence in the women's division. The following contest is a triple threat match and is for the NXT Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Gonzalez. It's hard to name a faster ascent to the top of NXT. Just over a year after her debut, she became NXT Women's Champion. She handed Io Shirai her first singles pinfall loss in nearly two years to become NXT Women's Champion. Here comes the powerhouse blonde bombshell. And introducing the champion from Yorktown Heights, New York, she is the NXT Women's Champion, Mandy Rose. Now, family, God's greatest creation, right, Corey? That's right. But even the man himself makes mistakes. Uh, so judgmental, all because Mandy had a slight slip up at WrestleMania, Corey. You fell out of love with her. No doubt the highest profile win for Mandy Rose when she defeated her former partner, Sonya Deville, in a loser leaves a WWE match at SummerSlam. Io Shirai, one of the best women high flyers in history. And introducing the challenger from Tokyo, Japan, Io Shirai. One of the most decorated competitors in Japanese women's wrestling history. And Io Shirai has continued that success in NXT and WWE. Io Shirai, without question, possesses one of the best mood salts in all of WWE. And if we're lucky, we'll see another one here tonight. The genius of the sky preparing to take flight. The challenger not taking their eyes off the championship. And the champ is staring daggers right back at the opposition. NXT Women's Championship hangs in the balance in this triple threat matchup. Heads will be on a swivel in this one with Raquel Gonzalez. Mandy Rose and Io Shirai. The mind of the champion must be going a mile a minute, wondering what's the best strategy in this situation. If you're the champ, you need to make an alliance of some sort. Does you no favors if you're the main focus in this match. You want to make it a one-on-one -on -one and make sure that you're not the odd competitor out. Oh. Roundhouse kick! That was nasty. 
Both wrists captured. And It's not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. There's a reason this is called the triple threat match. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? She overcomes the pinfall attempt. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. And able to beat Mandy to the punch. Uh-oh. Look at this. Uh-oh is right. She is really getting fired up. Here's a pin for the title. Broken up. And the match continues. Shot right out of the ring. Showing her competition what a real superstar looks like. An incredible power slam. She's feeling it. And the WWE Universe is feeling it too. Mandy keeps her at bay. The challenger's looking shaken. Oh, nicely done. Seated suplex. Io has lost any control of this match. Shirai's not showing the capacity to fight back. Strong right form. Look at this strength. My goodness. Nightmare takeover, followed by Shirai Perry's out of the way. Playing out with a power slam. Top rope, here we go. On the top, down. Eo with a turnaround. She was looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. Shaken. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. A lot of tension being used. Butterfly double under hook up and face buster. She's getting fired up. The champion's down. The champion's down. Oh, my God. We're going to have a new champion. Got the leg. Boy, dragon screw. That will destroy a knee. And now she's giving us all a chance to bask in her effervescence. Hurricane Rana. Ah, oh, snap there. Take down. And what a knee. And Io is in command. Shirai displaying her tenacious offense. Targeting the knee now. The Olympic submission submission face first. The Koji clutches it in. She's in a tremendous amount. She breaks the hold. With a championship on the line. Uh-oh, new champion. Somehow breaks the count of late in the match, but somehow has the incomparable power to kick out before the... Hoisted over into the gory special. Could be looking for a submission here. Oh, this is so painful. Applying a rigorous stretch. You feel like hope is starting to fade away right now. She might be just moments of... Oh, look at this power. Incredible power from the position she was in. And Shirai pays for leaving an opening. A uh, snap mare. Oh, big boot. She sent 
to the outside. Ooh, what a four on club. Giving the people a chance to take in her undeniable greatness. But she waited on the top. The challenger not looking good right now. I'm just surprised that this triple threat match is still going on, Cole. I bet Saxton this would have been over by now. Why is she still boasting around? She's in a fight for goodness sake. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Up and over, all the way to the floor. Oh, look at the power now. I can't believe this. Look at that. From behind, back suplex. Nice counter from Gonzalez. Oh, man. She returns the favor there. Pulls the trigger. She goes under the ropes and back into the ring. Had that one scouted. Oh, it's raking the back. The challenger is in some big trouble. She's been on the bad end of a beating here and it's starting to show. Hit the mark with that one.
tremendous effort from all three superstars involved in this hard-hitting triple threat. I honestly think she just put the rest of the women's locker room on notice with this triple threat match.